welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a tutorial video on this makeup look and if you guys um, like the look please thumbs it up so pretty much this look is an everyday look um, I decided to just go ahead and make the video and see if I can try this out and do some kind of look for you guys that's pretty simple I'm gonna try to see if by the end of the video I can do two different colors of lips um, this one is just a very nude, and then I'm going to try to see if I can do, a, like, a purple color or more of a, I mean, there's, you can do it with so many different options, but I'm going to see if I can get more of a deeper color, because I know a lot of you guys might like the nudes on your lips, and then some of you guys might like the darker colors, like purple, a, a burgundy, a wine, or red, or whatever. But do keep in mind, this is an, an everyday look, like, if you're going to go to work, do you really want a really bright lip? Yeah, some of you guys might want to have that bright lip. Some of you guys might not want to. So I'll try to see if I can link a picture at the end of the video so you guys can see two different looks. The nude lips and um, the other color, which I still haven't decided which one I'm going to pick out. Anyways, guys, I am rambling and rambling, and I'm sure you guys are like, okay, really get on with the show. Okay, so if you guys want to know how I got this look, just keep on watching. Okay guys, so um, I already started off uh, priming my face and I used the Urban Decay Complexion, uh, Complexion Primer Potion. It's just the makeup base and it looks like this. I already applied it and what it looks like is just looks like that, just like a cream. So I already applied it all over my face. I already um, let it sit for a little bit into my skin. So I already did that. And the look um, that I said we're going to be doing is just a pretty simple look, uh, very natural looking, nothing too complex. Um, it's perfect for beginners. Um, I mean, I, I think it's easier for beginners. We're going to be using four colors from uh, MAC. And um, the first one is going to be the soft, it's going to be soft brown um, from MAC. And like I said, we're going to start off by priming our eyes. And I'm going to be using the Too Faced. Um, Anti-crease eyeshadow primer. So it's the shadow insurance. This is just like a little sample one that I got So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and prime our eyes before we start all with all the eyeshadows and You don't need too much of it And we're gonna start off with applying a transition color and for that I love using soft brown for our um, for a transition color. So we're gonna go ahead and start by applying it on our crease. So just go ahead and go in and start swiping it back and forth all over your crease. Just back and forth, back and forth. So just keep applying it. And again in the other eye, Just swipe it back and forth, back and forth until, like I said, you get the right uh, transition amount in there. And I usually take a couple of, I do a couple of swipes back and forth. So that's how I like to do it. That's just me. And hopefully you guys can see it. So pretty much that's just your transition color. The next color that we're going to be using is going to be on our lids. And it's going to be... It's going to be Blanc Type by MAC. So that's what it looks like. And we're just going to grab a flat um, a flat brush. And this is the E60 from um, Sigma. So we're going to be applying this all over the lids. And it's just a matte um, eyeshadow. And all I'm doing is I am tapping it on my lid and then swiping little by little. Because you don't want to get all this... Um, fall out on your face and then you're gonna have to clean it off and you already primed your face so yeah we're gonna go ahead and um, pat it on and just swipe it a little bit not too much and if you can see you know you can see the the color if you want to put a little bit more on it that's fine that's pretty much it for that we're still gonna go with more two more eyeshadows but I'm just saying not too hard to just do two eyeshadows. Okay, so the next color that I'm going to be taking is Swiss Chocolate, also by MAC. And it's just a nice, uh, like a 
brown color. It's really nice and I'm going to be using the 217 from MAC and this is going to go in like our outer corners. Um, maybe like, well, like a little bit inside your crease so it can give it more of a deeper look. So pretty much what you're going to do is just go ahead and sweep it back and forth inside that crease. So back and forth and then you can just put a little bit like on the outer corner like that. Just it, It's all about like your brush and how you actually move it and how you hold it. Um, I like to just move it like back and forth and then like this, like flat like that and then I kind of move it like sideways like this. It just gives you more depth in there. So you don't want to take it all the way in but just in here and if you want to grab a little bit more, I mean you can do it to give it more depth in there. So that's just what we're doing right now. And as you can see, you're probably going to be able to see darker in there. So that's what you can do. Um, then I'm going to show you guys the other eye. So it's pretty much you're going to be doing the same thing. You want the debt in here. You want it to be more darker on the outside because we already have that light um, blanc type on the lid and we have soft brown on top. You don't want to put it all together. You don't want this to overlap soft brown because that's your transition color. So you just want to kind of push it in and that will be your your crease and then you know that's where you want it to be the darkest it's like right in here okay so like I said it's pretty simple and um, what I like to do is I like to get my last eyeshadow which is texture by um, Mac and I like to grab the same uh, brush and I just like to sweep it like right above switch uh, chocolate just to give it a little bit of like a pop of color, like orangey, because it's more like an orangey color. I just like to put it on top. Just a little bit, not too much. You don't wanna, you know, I'm using the same, uh, the same one from this eye, so I'm not adding too much of it. You just wanna give it a little bit of color. And that's pretty much it. I mean, you could put a highlight color on your brow bone. Um, this, these all, all these colors have like more of a, like a matte finish. Um, texture has a little bit of a of shimmer in it and the other ones are pretty matte so you what I like to do is I like to keep blanc type as my as my brow bone highlight um, but that's just me um, everybody's different so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a little bit more blanc type and I'm gonna add a little bit more on my just on my on my lids because when you're blending with all the other colors the color seems to just disappear. And also, because I didn't put a, a base that was like white, it was just clear, so that's why it's not popping as much, but you can do um, NYX Jumbo Pencil if you want. Um, I chose not to do that. And then I'm just gonna grab the leftover and add it on my brow bone, and I'm just doing a little bit, not too much. And then what I like to do is I like to go in with the same um, taper blending and then um, brush and then just kind of blend it. So, so that's just how I like to apply it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do eyeliner. And this is the hardest part for me to film because it's kind of uh, awkward to be right here in front of the camera. But I'm going to definitely try. And what I like to do is I like to apply it this way first. And I'm using Jordana's um, Fabu Liner Liquid Eyeliner in black, I believe. So you want to get it as close as you can to your lash line. And I just love this pencil, this eyeliner, because it's so simple. And for beginners, it's amazing to use and to get it started. I, I'm not really going to wing it out a lot. So if you can see, I'm just leaving it the way I kind of started. Okay, so then this is the next one. 
and this one's always a little bit more harder for me to do but everybody does their liner different I totally do it uh, different compared to everybody else that I've seen it's so much faster for them to just do it but I like to take my time I don't know why it's just I find it a little bit more difficult but there it is just gonna connect it and like I said I didn't do such a big um, wing I'm just keeping it simple okay so that's pretty much it guys for the eyeliner the eyes it's nothing it's nothing too crazy something simple like I said um, and there's the liner it's just I, I like to keep it very simple and especially for like an everyday look why not so next we're gonna do we're gonna curl our eyelashes and then we're gonna add some mascara to that you can put fall you can like put falsies on but I prefer not to especially if it's an everyday look you are not gonna have time to apply falsies every single morning so now I'm gonna be using um, this L'Oreal voluminous curved brush mascara and I believe it's in uh, black yes so this is one of my favorites and what I did if you can if you guys notice I kind of bend my brush a little bit but that's just you know that's just how I like it I don't know I heard a tip from somebody that it always helps to bend it like that I don't know I don't remember who I heard it from but ever since I heard it that's I just do it to all of my mascaras I do it of course a little bit not too much because then you'll break the wand but here's the the mascara, this is a great mascara, it's one of my favorites and I actually need a new one so I gotta repurchase this. So you just want to go ahead and see, just apply some mascara and your natural eyelashes. If you don't have long eyelashes, you know, like I said, you can choose to add um, falsies. Okay, so now what we're going to do next is um, we're going to go ahead and apply our uh, foundation. So I'm going to be using this Revlon Photo Ready Foundation right here. And what I like to do is I like to apply it at the back of my hand. And one thing I did not bring was my foundation brush. So I'm going to go get it. Okay, so I grabbed my foundation brush and I'm using my a Sigma Kabuki brush and I'm just applying it from the back of my hand and that's just one pump so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it all over my face so I'm gonna get another pump for the other side I'm just I love taking my time with my foundation applying it everywhere my face like all over but still taking the time to spread it all over I just I like taking time my time with it so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna apply um, we're going to apply concealer and I'm using my Maybelline um, New York my Maybelline New York foundation and medium so I'm gonna apply this right under my eyes and I'm just gonna do kind of like a little triangle and I will apply it same thing on the other eye so just a little triangle and like I said this is just an everyday look so you don't have to look very like highlighted or you know um, contoured or anything like that and what I'm going to be using is um, I'm going to use this Revlon photo ready it's an eye primer a brightener um, so you can use it both ways so it's just like a little, it kind of reminds me of the MAC ones um, that they have the little click thing that you turn and it comes out. So what I like to do is I like to apply it with my concealer just to give it a little bit of more uh, brightness since the um, concealer I'm using is in the, medi in the color medium. It's not lighter. So I'm just applying it all over like that. And... I will grab my same kabu uh, my flat kabuki brush and pretty much just dab it on. I'll usually use my my blood uh, my beauty blender, but sometimes there's no time in the morning to 
uh, use it, so I just go with the next best thing, which is this brush. It's just my foundation brush, and I like using it for my concealer. If I'm like in a really quick, um, like if I'm in a hurry, and I don't use my, I don't have my beauty blender, then I just use this one. So, this is what I like to do. And if you guys can see, it just gives me a little bit of brightness under the, the eye area. And, and that's pretty much it. Right now, I'm gonna just go ahead and apply um, with my brush from, this is Sonia Cash brush. This is like my favorite brush right now. Well, I always usually use this for my blush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply it on the, um, on my cheekbones. And, oh, actually this palette is from the Charlotte Ranson collection. And it's a luminizer, a blush, and a bronzer. So, if you can see, this is a very bright pink um, blush, which is perfect if you're not wearing too much makeup and you just want that flush to look. Um, I usually go for this blush. I think this is like my everyday, um, almost everyday blush look um, because of the look that I'm, I'm always using is this. So, this is, I just like to spread it all over and it's just, it gives you like these very nice flush cheeks and I mean I like it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm in it from the same palette. There's an illuminizer here, I'm going to use this brush which I don't even know where I got from, but it was a gift, I think. And I am gonna sweep the illuminizer. I think that's the one, the white one from the palette. And I'm just gonna sweep it on my the high ends of my cheekbones, so it can give you a little, give me a little more of a highlight. So just sweep it on like that. And it's just going to give you a little bit of a highlight. I mean, not too much. Then you can do it on your nose, like right at the top, the bridge of your nose. You could do a little bit over here if you want to be more, you know, if you want more highlight in your face. I really don't, don't care too much for it. Okay, so then after all of that, you just need the bottom lashes. You need to, what I like to do is I like to apply, I'm, I'm a huge fan of, of black eyeliner, so... I like to apply my uh, Urban Decay Perversion on my waterline, just a just a tiny bit, not too much, because this is a very deep black color. But I do apply it on my waterline, and just on both eyes. Okay, so then what I like to do before I apply my mascara and the lower eyelashes, I like to get a um, pencil brush, and then I just like to kind of move that perversion color um, all over in the bottom just to give me a little bit more the eyes can pop a little bit more and kind of like give you like a little smoky eye but not too much because this is really not a, a smoky look but I just like to do it that way okay so now we're gonna go in with the mascara and we're gonna apply it on our low, lower eyelashes. And I always like to apply mascara on my lower eyelashes just because it, I feel that if you have your lower eyelashes, if they're long, go ahead and use a mascara and put mascara down there. It just looks really nice and it opens up your eyes so much more that, I mean, I know there's a lot of girls out there that have very, um, small tiny eyelashes at the bottom but still apply mascara it's gonna open up your eyes so if you guys can see I the eyes are pretty much done and my eyebrows were already done and my cheeks are done I did a little bit of highlight the last thing that is left is my lips and the only color that I have here with me or lip combo is this peekaboo new uh neutral and max myth so anyways you can go with a you can go with a very bright color, like a purple, you can go like for your lips. You can do anything pretty much. So you can, you know, you can keep it like that. So 
it's very neutral, very nude, I should say. And I'll, what I do is I just go back with the, with the lip liner, just to give it a little bit more pink, because this is more like a like a pink color. Uh, so, there it is, guys. This is the pretty much the final look. It's very simple. What I do is I'll just grab my hair, put it down, and and then I just I'm pretty much done. So if you guys like the look, thumbs up the video. It's like I said, it's pretty simple. It's nothing to it, nothing crazy, nothing dramatic. You use four eyeshadows, and any beginner can do this. Um, I like this for everyday looks. So you know, I just wanted to show you guys a simple look. And I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!